how do transmission lines work? 10,000 kilometers. This is, for example, the distance between Rio de Janeiro and Berlin, or the length of 50 Hz's extra high voltage grid that transports electricity with 220 or 380 kV over large distances. Our transmission system connects the renewable and conventional sources with the regional and local distribution systems. From the distribution systems, the electricity is then delivered to the households. Over land, the electricity is almost exclusively transmitted using high voltage overhead lines and only in special cases via underground cables. One important element of overhead lines are the pylons. They carry the conductors. The 50 Hz grid contains about 14,000 pylons. In particular, two-level pylons where the conductors are arranged in a triangle, thus forming a system or in other words, an electric circuit. Conductors have to be isolated from the earth pylon. They are therefore fixed with isolators. Normally, the difference between 220 and 380 kilovolt lines can be pinpointed by checking the number of isolators. 220 kilovolt lines frequently have two, 380 kilovolt lines three or four isolators. The electricity is transported through conductors in form of small electrons with a negative charge. The live conductors are made of aluminum steel, a conductive material. Earth wires are attached to the top of the pylons. They do not transport electricity but protect the live conductors against lightning strikes. The overhead lines of the 50 Hz high voltage grid are usually equipped with two electrical circuits. Electricity flows on the left and the right side. If one system or even the entire line fails, the rest of the power grid ensures the secure and uninterrupted electricity supply. This securing principle is called N-1. When 50 Hz decides to build new lines, we respect certain rules. We avoid residential areas wherever possible, bundle the lines with other infrastructures such as streets or railways, and try to affect natural areas as little as possible. We compensate any environmental impact. Protecting human beings, wildlife and nature is our highest priority.